Hi guys, welcome to another Living SA TV video, David here once again and today we are going to make another walkthrough through Hillbrow and this time out of the Hillbrow Ikea precinct in order to show you guys the most amazing gems in Hillbrow, don't you believe me? Stay tuned because once again this video will blow your mind. Okay guys, so today we are coming back to Hillbrow to make positive, um, basically, content about it. And uh, to give you guys context, you know, um, Hillbrow has a lot of history, a lot of potential, a, a spirit of its own, but the sense of community, the humanity of people, of the locals here is just amazing, you know. People really want to sort out, you know, the problems in their community and make, uh, Hillbrow a better place, you know, and that's the main reason why I keep coming back is because of the people, because I really feel for them, you know. It's up to you, bro. Let, let... Okay, guys, so now we are with the bad boys and we're gonna do a walkabout tour on the back of the Bucky. You see, cool building that was just revamped. Another one that was revamped. Look at this amazing community. Yeah? So we are at the top of the of the Bucky at the moment, just doing some great stuff. Look at this! Look at this building. It just have a, a, a nice flow, you know, like a nice vibrance about it. Uh, look at the tower just there. <laughs> oh, I love the message, eh? Look at that one. Rise by lifting others. Beautiful, beautiful message. Um, I really want to give my contribute to this area in order to make you change your opinion about Hillbrow. Look, it's not all roses, but uh, there is work being developed. And, um, and like I say, everyone that is um, basically involved in this, thank you very much for all your efforts because I can see them. And um, and again, guys, we I, I believe that you should work with the community. Don't listen to the news. Don't listen to, to what other people say, go there, work with the community, try to find out how can you help. Because that's the best thing you can give you is your own contribution. But again, guys, less talk, more action. Let's go straight to the positive content about Hillbrow. Stay tuned. You see, so there is a cool, very cool park for kids here. You know what I mean? And also you have like a, a soccer field there where kids are playing, you know, just to bring the community together, which is highly, highly interesting. So Winnie Brow is just that side basically. That's the Jerusalem building. You see a safe park for the kids to play. Yes guys, we are inside of Ilbrow, in case you haven't seen. You guys see a beautiful soccer field. Play, play football guys, play football. Well done. There you go. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> mural day. You see that mural? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's really cool. So this one was an old building and they destroyed the architecture. Yeah, and how will the revamp was done? How old? How long ago, basically? That was three years ago. Okay. You see a camera there? Camera there. Some business going up, you know what I mean? People doing their normally daily hustle. Really cool, eh? The, the buildings look clean, eh? This part there. A little bit of, you see the fruit there? Nice, nice, nice fresh fruit. You 
guys can see that the buildings don't look that bad. Oh, is this is this little Legos? Yeah, this is the black Legos. That's a skyscraper, right? Eh? Yeah, but you don't, you don't get money, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, but that one, that's yeah. very true. Yeah, it's the longest one. You can see more of that So that's huge, eh? That's just a dark in the middle of there. But that's too big. You can assign it to the other side. This place is really cheap food. <laughs> really? Okay. Nice. Chicken burger. Okay. That, uh, that's a hijack building, that one in front. Yeah, but, but all this stuff will be revamped in, in a, You see guys, the amount of business going around, you know. People just park their cars on the streets. Max clothing. I don't know why I love this fresh air. Yeah. Oh, they're building now now a new a new. Uh... That is like old car, so they just try okay. to set up fresh. Okay. Boom, the Hillbrow Tower right there guys, right there, Hillbrow Tower. So you can see this one is being destroyed to the old building. Hmm. Uh, no, <laughs> Doing some 4x4 four four, I guess. <laughs> Yo, look at the tower, just sure oh, that thing is high, eh? Semtech tower down there. You guys can see it. Oh. Okay, so guys, so this is the Hill Brown Market, basically, you know, stuff where you can get your, your fruit, you know, fresh stuff, where people sell their things. You also have that side of the market, which is quite interesting to see. And guys, this is really basic, you know. In order to make anything changed in South Africa, in Johannesburg or in Hilbra, we need to work all together to, to make the difference. Guys, make your contribution. Go to the Hilbra Ikayo precinct. Let's see what we can do together. I'm giving my contribution. I really want to see Hillbrow uh, getting back, uh, you know, to a, to, to a better place, you know. I really want to see this amazing area getting back on their feet again. Because I'm telling, in terms of tourism, if Hillbrow comes back, it will be probably the most visited place in Johannesburg. comes from that side, Rosebank and all that. Okay. Just let me, let me just... Uh... Hi, I'm Roger. 
and uh, I've, I've been um, asked by these gentlemen to speak to you about Hilbra. So let me tell you a little bit about Hilbra. I came to Hilbra in 2002. I was about 16, 17 years old, and um, sadly, the reason that brought me to Hilbra was heroin. Uh, I became a heroin addict and spent 13 years on the streets. Um, I cleaned up. I left, I got married in Port Elizabeth, spent another 11 years down there and came back here uh, probably about a year ago and um, noticed the difference in how things have changed, how things have degraded. Uh, the people in Hilbra are wonderful people, they're real, they're friendly, they're kind, but the infrastructure is dilapidated. The water, as you can see, is everywhere. They are um, buildings that are falling apart, there is water being wasted everywhere, there's sewage running in the streets, service delivery is a, it's a waste of time, and the area is being overrun by foreigners and drug dealers. Um, in the last two weeks I've seen a man get shot six times, I've seen another man be stabbed to death, um, and I myself sleep on the streets because of stigma and heroin addiction. Um, unfortunately, in this place, there aren't a lot of solutions for the problems and there aren't a lot of people to help people like myself and others get out of what they're trapped in. Um, it would be a, a miracle if government could fix this area because it was once a truly beautiful area. It was once an extremely functional, wealthy area and I believe it can be once more. Um, it just needs the help of the people and the energy and the efforts of government and individuals such as yourself who's watching this video, who's willing to and eager to help. I'm Roger, thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much. Just take it like this. So let's see that one. Okay, so basically here we uh, have like a place where people basically cutting their hair, you know, doing the nails and stuff like that, which is interesting to see, if you guys think about it. Um, so that why that side there, which is really cool. Just always overlooking the Hillbrow Tower of course. Sorry guys. So this makes part of basically the market that I was telling you guys about, the Hillbrow Market. You guys can see there's many things, people selling also bathtubs. Of course, a place where you can put a skip to put some garbage in. But uh, yeah, kind of a very interesting uh, street to visit if you think about it. Sell some shoes, sell some fruit, some nice African drums. Also, okay. Also, a traditional healer. It's also very nice. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, man. Some wigs. I just basically go all the way to that side. <laughs> so flat shows, you guys can see another stuff there going on market goes all the way up there so we came from all the way up all the way down going that side all the way which is very interesting if you guys want to come in with the bad boys and check all this place which is really really interesting wow Really cool, eh? So you guys can see they hitting the, the stuff. Really impressive. You can see also if you guys have, um, if you guys want to fix your clothes, your jeans and stuff like that, you can also can, you guys can come here. This is really interesting.
You guys see show some reality streets. Like day, you can see the building was revamped. It's actually on a nice street, you know what I mean. There is a, a kindergarten just there, you know what I mean. I actually notice a lot of companies in these areas that they give loans to people to everything, you know what I mean. Send money and stuff. It's it's actually very easy to put this business around town. Mm. So like the kids, the kids are just like walking around here like it's normal, you know. Kids are just literally, you know. I can't wait to be here in summer. All of these trees will be like massive. Ah, yeah, yeah, jacaranda. Mm. It look, it looks stunning. Yeah. You know, just people just you know doing their stuff, doing some stuff in the streets. How's it, guys? How are you? Hello. Good, good. That looks very nice, eh? Yeah. How much for one of these um, chickens? Dead. Uh, really? Wow. Mercy. Also, do you do you do you like the Eus food or not? You like it? Very nice. Thank you very much, guys. Another, another building that was revamped. So this is another park for the kids. You guys can make some pull-ups, some nice exercise there. Just free it in the middle. We are wasting all much, so much water. Why is not this being fixed? Like literally, people in these buildings they don't literally have you know water to drink or to take a shower. Not even a bathroom. Why are we wasting so much water? I actually lost, get, got lost in one of these streets, so no way to the, to the precinct. <laughs> now look at that, look at that, look at the tower. Look at the tower. Again, it, c it can work and not work, bro. So yeah, yeah. that's the thing. So imagine when. Wow. Okay, I see where we are. So we're going to that side to the ah, okay. Got a spa here.
Okay, bro. Welcome, Joburg Tower. So this is the entrance. You guys can see all thick. Already closing. They sense me. They're already closing the the place. <laughs> oh my god. But that's the entrance. Okay. So this is the entrance to the taxi rank, the one that you saw earlier. So it's called the Welcome to Hillbrow Market and Taxi Rank. So you guys remember the market that we were? It's from that side, all the way down. And that the, the taxi rank that we saw, it was the one on that side. You guys can see the pillars. I think the telecom wanted to transform this into a museum because they wanted to transform all this side into a, into a cultural and a arts uh, precinct. Which basically the the tower will be the the crown jewel of the precinct itself. But you guys can see basically they don't really look run down the buildings. Just standing, standing, standing. So that just want to show this building quickly here. You guys can see the kids are there. So you guys can see that this building was actually transformed and revamped. So it's very interesting. Greetings, greetings. My name is Rodney. As you can see, we're in the streets of Hillbro. We do a street hustle, a street business. We do dreadlocks with my team. One of my guys there was talking to you. As you can see, we are busy with dreadlocks. This is my friend here. You were talking to. We're together basically. Uh -huh. We attend. We do our street on the business. As you can see, uh -huh. she's doing her hair. She's getting her hair dyed. Uh -huh. Has big dye. As you can see, with most people who are here, they know us. We are very very busy at times, you know, we are quite popular with our work, we are doing good work basically, good honest work uh, at the corner in Hebrew. Uh, there is about five of us guys here, uh, six of us actually, we all try and do an, an honest living, Hebrew is a very dangerous place, you know, sometimes things are hard in life and uh, you don't know how to get money, people, people end up surviving by committing crime basically, but we try and do a positive thing. We try to be a positive, we live positively, you know. We inspire people, yeah, we inspire people to grow their hair, yeah, be proud in their natural looks. Yeah. So, yeah, this is us. Uh, you, find, you can find us online as well, Universal Dreadlocks, that's who we are. That's, that's, yes, that's our logo. We try and maintain a formal thing, you know. That's his number there. Yes, that's the logo. Everybody got his number. That's me as well. My Boom. Don't forget to find to follow them online guys. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, all the social handles, Universal Dreadlocks. That's who we are. Cool man. Have a good one. Nice to meet you, eh? So this mural is beautiful, eh? This really and this Asian thing has been here forever. Okay guys, so we're going to the top of this building, which will be literally our rooftop where we're going. The twilight... Children, okay. The Hillbrow Radio right there. You guys can see the representing. Going with the flowing. You guys can see the Ponty. Also, we'll make a new video on that one. Now, look at these views, man. This is like something else. How's man? How are you? Good, good. Nice to meet you. Are you? You? Oh, okay. Are you making sure you are revamping the place, eh? Wow. Oh my God, we are just out of the building. Yo, bro. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God! This is like the what the fiery, the fire, oh, <laughs> the best view from this city, guys. Look at that! Look how 
This is 21 floors. Yo, dropping to my. Yo, okay, you guys see the top of the building? A lot of uh, just clothes being hanged and washed and dried and stuff like that. You guys can see the city better from here. I'll give you guys a better look. You guys have an idea there are actually people living here so you can you can imagine the view of the thing now we're going up to, to this through the stairs to have even a better view <laughs> people don't even understand how, how we risk our lives eh? it's like the engine oh so like this is the engine Okay guys, let's risk our lives a little bit just to have some fun and make sure I give you guys the best view of the city possible. So now I'm literally going to go on this crazy ladder, so let's do it. Oh my god, we are literally... Guys, we just came out out of the... Fred, you're killing us, bro! Sure, let me just show you guys very slowly. This is actually how... Yeah, how up we are at the moment. So now we're going through this entrance here. So I want to give take you guys through all the action. <sighs> Shit, I do for to to show you videos, eh? We're going through another amazing. Uh, Moses? Oh my scared of heights. The man is scared of heights, you can see. <laughs> Bro, I'm very vertigo, away. Eh? Thank God. Yo guys, we just climbed this thing here. We are at the highest point of the tower. The views. Crazy people with me, eh? <laughs> Jesus, man, look at that. Yo, bro, this is something else, eh? Thank you. Okay guys, so this is literally, so we were actually there just to take a few, few parts. <laughs> you guys can see Joe Verdick beautifully from here, the African New York. So look at the distance from here, right? That Still has the best view in Joburg. On top of there. Can you guys see that guy where that guy is working? Yeah. Can you guys see the guys working? Yeah, something. I think it's the best place to. Huh? Yo. Yeah, of course. Okay, don't. Okay, guys, so we are at the top of. I don't even know where I am. Just one of the. If you guys have been following the vlog, you guys know where I am at the moment. We are on this amazing place in terms of seeing view from the African New York right here, Joburg, uh, Hillbrow Tower just there for you guys to see. Uh, we got the Centec Tower there also, you, get, you can make zoom if you want, just to show. Which one is it? Uh, I think it's the 10th, the 10, 10 zoom. I'm in the building. <laughs> can you see? Can you see now? Which building is it? The Centec Tower, can you see it there? Oh, the long one, okay, yeah. yeah. So you might have to edit Okay, now you got to come out now. <laughs> you see what I mean? We're on the top of Josie, we're Josie Kings at the moment, eh? <laughs> wow. Yo, check how many empty flats are in this. I don't know, eh? Ah, yeah, that one, I can see two empty flats. 
can see that building there. Have you seen that building? Uh, that's probably uh, Jewel City, I guess, on that side. What, with, with that, that advertisement? Yeah, that's definitely Jewel City. But yeah. I think it's that Jewel City. I, I'm not sure about that restaurant. That I think it's the Hallmark building. Hotel. Yeah, the Hallmark Hotel. You guys can see that on the horizon. That's the Hallmark Hotel. Yeah. Uh, but so yo, this is crazy, eh? Yo, people don't, yeah, people bro. don't even know <laughs> the stuff that we're going through to make these videos, guys. It's something else. And thank you, big shout out for my boys at, at uh, uh, Bad Boys actually for taking us to this to this amazing place. Just go very slowly. Ah, you can see Constitution Hill also there. See there. Uh, yeah. Constitution Hill. Yeah. It's also now the precinct. The the Standard Bank. Uh, the Standard Bank building. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. FNB Bank City. I can see the diamond also from here. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't even see that. The Johannesburg Seven Towers, the, the blue cladding, uh, cladding building there. That uh, yeah. Next to it on the, on, the, on, the, on the left side is going to be the, the Marble Tower, Transnet building. You can see the Carlton the Carl Hotel between the... Just behind there. Yeah, just behind the So next to the Transnet building and next to the Johannesburg Sun and Towers. Absa Tower, like I said, F&B. Uh, F &B. What I'm saying, I'm saying uh, <laughs> Absa Banking Precinct. Can you see the stadium from here? Uh, I can't see it. I think it. They? Somewhere there, yeah. yeah. There. Oh, there it is, yeah. There you go, you can see the, the big things. Literally everything from here. I think that's the hospital on that side. I'm not sure. Yeah. I think that's the hospital. What's the name of the hospital? Yeah, Helen McClever. Okay. Say it louder, Moses. Which hospital is it? It's Helen McClever Hospital. Oh, okay. Helen McClever. And then you guys can see on the horizon, we can see Santa, you guys can see the Leonardo that side. We're literally in the heart of everything. Sure. You can see Santa in Prospect. Look, someone here at the Ilbrow Tower cleaning the... I think the... Can, see, I, <laughs> can I, see I think the they, they put it... Still, oh, there, yeah! You can see it, just put it, just show the people. There. Can just show... Are these people mad? Put it there, put it there. Yeah. Look at that guy, was working! <laughs> what?! <laughs> On scaffolding. Yeah, I think they're installing uh, something else. Installing Yo, something you could else. not pay me enough to do that job. <laughs> No, no it's just, it's just, it was just flipping. Woo. You guys can see, yo, that's that's. Uh, uh, look, look, look at the guy there. Look at yo. <laughs> no, no way you catch me there. You guys can see the crane there also. Yo, guys, so many like details here in this in this landscape 360 that it's difficult to actually speak about it, but uh, it's a unique point of the city. If you guys want me to talk about the Bounty Tower, let us know so we can also cover it. Okay, so... Okay, alright. Oh, they, they, they're finishing now a new one, eh? Just on the back of a bucky We are seeing you bro from another perspective I like my jingle eh? <laughs> cool eh? How's it? How are you? Say hello! <laughs> Just waiting now So we gotta see you a little bit like I've been already in that street day. A lot of kids just coming back from school now. Ah okay, we just around the corner. How's it? How are you? <laughs> 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 
Yeah, bo. Look at that one. Ah, <laughs> oh, you can go. You can go, bro. You can go. How's it? So what's happening now? We're gonna clean now the yeah. Wow. Wow. That's how you clean the streets? Yeah. Okay. So this is a hotel. Okay. Wow. Okay. So those are basically the people who basically go inside of the old buildings and stuff. Back in Ikaya. Good with the community. So mid mid hill. Let's go. Wow. So they change from the corner to the place. Wow. How many buildings is in this place? Like you say, they've changed so many buildings. Is it? So they put... Hello. They're taking over the city. Yeah. Only fixing something here. Fixing the pipes. Oh, cool. They're fixing the pipes here. So what is happening? There's someone actually fixing the pipes. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Wow. I only know bit by bit. How's it, how's it guys? How are you? How's it? How's it? Good, good. Have you told them that you live around you, Carl? Have you told them that you live here? I don't think so, yeah. What? I don't live here. Oh, don't tell me. I thought you live in Santé. Oh, really? No, I'm around the corner here. Uh, in Atrisburg. Ah, uh, I never saw you. I've been working here for six years. <laughs> Not in one year. Yo. Did you also patrol around the area every day? Yeah. I've been here for 12 nights. So I've been working at 12 years. How's those guys? How's it? I'm working at Bedford in 2016. 2016. Being kept, she's there. So, like, in the city, but there's still quite small in the Oprah. No, it's nice, nice quiet. So, what was this building about? Uh, it was an old post. An old post office? Yeah. Whoa. And, and uh, the building looks quite, you know, like uh, modern, you know, just need some cleaning and stuff. Just cleaning and then renovations. It will look nice, you know. The possibilities here are just amazing. Raya Vaya. You guys can see the Johannesburg Hotel. You know what about? Here we go. Now let's 